Roxbury, Massachusetts. I'm at the uh, Brothers Building Men's Wellness Conference. We, we've been taught to not seek treatment, to stay in the same state of mind, but we need to break that cycle. So uh, it's critical that we are able to step into a space like this and normalize the conversation about mental health, health and mental illness. And we've got to figure out how do we connect with each other? How do we actually talk about some of our pain? Right? How do we address that pain? Right? And so when you need to be to that point that you are okay with saying, I love you as a brother. We understand what love means. I really enjoy the resources. We're not only talking about mental health, we're talking about how to fin financially uh, stabilize ourselves, our community, and our economy in turn. Every quarter, actually you do your taxes and like look through the state. Look how everybody got amped as soon as you start talking about write-offs and ways to get through. These are the little things that really get us ahead and take away from all that overhead that we be blown. The little things. Right. I'm coming out of this empowered. The organizers of this event were intentional about putting this together. We've been programmed to always operate with the deficit-based narrative when we talk about black men. And that's kind of white supremacy showing up to the table. So when I talk about myself and my brothers, I don't come from a deficit-based space. Health is wealth. I am so excited that today you guys are going to be talking about mental health. It touches every single thing that we do. We need to be vocal and active about the things that impact our community. I want to help as much as I can. We need to cast a new vision of a world that we want to live in that does not require putting people in cages to address the ills of society. Everybody walked away with something, learned something new, and hopefully this engagement today will help some fellas that are on the fence choose to be legitimate, choose to help cultivate, choose to nurture our community. That we don't have to be the old narrative of the strong black male that doesn't express emotions. Uh, it's important for us to express emotions and express who we are. Maybe we don't have the full understanding of what it means to be a man because we have to literally put it in practice to define it. Well, for folks who couldn't make it today, understand that this is part of the process of building a foundation for community resiliency that can promote mental wellness. Eventually, piece by piece by piece, we'll have a whole picture, a whole different picture than what a rock spray looked like before, than what our communities looked like before, than what our country looked like before.